Last week at a garage sale, I found my greatest find ever. Oh, that's awesome. That's unreal. Yeah, that's yeah. cool. That is really cool. Like, um, so he's got 80, maybe I'll go 20 on that. And then, 20 for the... Yeah, I'll think of 20 on that. Yeah. It was a PlayStation 2 promotional sign that was LED lit and it was in complete working order. This thing is worth a lot of money and I knew what I had my hands on the second that I had it. But I'm an eBay seller. I like to buy items to sell them for a profit. So while it's sitting nicely on my video game cabinet, I have put it up for auction. And in this video, I wanna let you know whether or not this thing has gone on to sell. And if it has, I wanna let you know how much it's gone on to sell for. The good news about this garage sale last week is that he said that he was gonna be running another garage sale today. I was able to go out there and buy even more stuff and I'm gonna run you through what I was able to pick up at the end of the video as well. So, let's go ahead, we'll run the footage of garage sale number two and spoiler alert, I was able to get quite a bit. Welcome in. Thank you. If you need bags, yeah, rather than trying to balance things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. true. Thank you. This one's missing its back plate. Oh yeah, okay. No worries. And then the PSP. That one's all working. Uh, no, I haven't tested it. No I don't stress. have any charges for it. Okay. Battlefront 2 is in it though. Battlefront 2, that's cool. Um, how much on the lot? Start at 200. 200, okay. I've got a few other bits and pieces over here as well. I might make a little pile, hey? Good way to split it like that, I think. Yeah, yeah well, that's, that's all Eli's doing there. Yeah, all of his corner. <laughs> yes, that's ah, all his. Brilliant. So, yeah, thank you. Thank you. We'll chuck that in there too. Oh, cool. Stick it nice. And um, that's them. Yeah, sick. Yeah, they can go in as well. They're awesome. No more actual like boxed ones, hey? No, that's the last of them. That's the lot, yeah, cool. Three for 20 bars. 
Oh, is it? They're, no stress they're, they're cool. They are, aren't they? I, yeah, I, Simpsons. I buy hundreds of kids' books yeah. and I donate them to three different daycare centers. Oh, yeah. So that's the only reason why. Oh, no, I no, that's but, epic. Mate, it's all good. Yeah, that's yeah. a good score. Yeah, no stress. All right, where are we at with our little stack? It's pretty much everything with you except for those two items with your grandpa. That was off the uh, off the table. Yep. And you were happy 200 for the... the yeah. Yep. All right, so it looks like it's about 270. Yep. We'll, we'll just do 270. Then. 270. That's all right. That's fine with me. We've done it again, guys. Let's get back and unpack all of this and I'll let you know how much it's worth. And just like that, we are back home. Pretty amazing for a second garage sale run here, guys. Uh, a lot of the stuff that I love to try and sell on eBay, as well as some interesting things over here, which I'm gonna to touch on in just a second. Um, I'm gonna kick things off with the first find of the day, which were these games right here. Um, Nintendo DS games, we've got the Zelda Spirit tracks there. That one actually sells for about $100, and it is completely complete with its manual and game inside, as you can see there. Um, I've also got Pokemon Pearl, which is a ridiculously good game. Uh, this one here, in complete edition, sells for about $100 to $120. Uh, I do have the game and the manual in there as well. So both are going to be listed up for $100 a piece, and they only cost me a dollar. He was doing all games and DVDs for just a dollar each, and it was the same last week as well. Uh, I then found these, which was a really timely purchase, considering we're not too far away from Halloween. Um, a bunch of different Halloween DVDs here. There are quite some good ones in there. The original Halloween and Halloween 2 go for really good money. If you can find all five or six Halloween DVDs, uh, a collection of those can go for significant money. 
uh, on eBay. And then we've also got the original VHS tapes. Now, I have gone through and I've checked the condition of these. And with VHS tapes, you've often just got to worry about like um, uh, fogging, or not fogging, um, I don't know, mold, I guess is the best word to say. And you'll see that there's a bunch of mold on this one here. Unfortunately, uh, this one is the best one, uh, Halloween number three. So I don't know if any of you guys out there do VH te uh, VHS tapes, uh, let me know if I can still sell that. Let, let me know if it's still sal uh, salvageable. Uh, but this one here, Halloween two, that was in really good condition. As you can see there, no marks on that one. And there were no marks on the Halloween number one as well. So not sure if I'll do a bundle uh, for those ones just yet or not, but the, the Halloween VHS tapes, they can do excellent as you've seen there. Um, so Halloween, really, really cool finds there in that category. He also, because I picked those up, uh, he found me a sticker of Michael Myers, which I just might use for myself personally. And then we've got three loose Funko Pop figures here of Michael Myers as well. I'm interested to comp up these to see whether or not the blood splatter on the shirt and then the heavy blood spatter here uh, can comp up for some more money. I'm not too sure, but I just thought I'd go ahead and grab those. He basically just threw them in. Um, this book here is a really, really cool book. It's the complete ultimate episode guide of The Simpsons, season one to 20. Uh, I had a look inside and this is like new and it's also a first edition. Uh, so I should be able to get about $100 on the comps on eBay uh, for that one there. So I paid $20 to get my hands on that. Um, not too sure how much this costs, but it's a Blue Yeti microphone. He's got a $30 price tag on it. I'm not sure exactly what the wash of it is from an individual purchase price perspective, um, but those go for some pretty decent money and I only need this cable down the bottom here on the left hand side uh, to get that up and running with a charger um, for its connectivity. So it's got its little manual there. He said it was working. Uh, so I threw that one in as well. And I personally had one of these for the YouTube channel as well. So I do know that, oh geez, I've ruined that there. I do know that they go for some great money. Uh, we've got a lot of consoles over here as well. There's a PlayStation 4, 4, and then an Xbox 360. I'm gonna probably list all of these uh, PS4s up for parts. Obviously a massive piece missing here. Uh, should get some decent money though, selling them off as parts only. Uh, but I will test up the Xbox 360 and make sure that works and then sell that complete. Um, I've also got this one here as well. This is a police box of the Doctor Who 11 minifigures. You can get about 50 bucks for this. Um, so this one was pretty decent because it was only for sale for $10 at the garage sale. Um, complete in box, um, that, was, that was excellent. Uh, then we've also got some of these games that came with the PlayStation 4 and all the different consoles. Uh, there's some, there's, first of all, there's a Xbox 360 hard drive uh, there, so I'm not too sure how much they're worth. We've got some Japanese Sega Master System games here. We've got Alien Storm, and we've also got Samurai Spirits, uh, 1993 um, Sega. So don't know if the Japanese games do any well, but we've got Batman Returns here on the Sega Master, or the Sega Mega Drive, I should say. Um, what have we got here? Some basketball game there. I don't think the sport games do too well. Um, I haven't had a look at these prior to jumping on the on the camera here. So Menacer, don't know if that's worth anything. Um, I'll put some comps up on screen. I think this is a good one, Streets of Rage. Um, that one, I think, goes for some pretty good money on past purchases. Uh, Columns, don't know about that one. And then we've got these ones uh, as well. So the Genesis, I believe these ones are. Um, yeah, we've got Lotus 2, and we've also got King's Bounty. So some really cool vintage video games that were kind of just in that bundle of the $200 purchase. So I should be in the profit there with that. Um, we've got a PlayStation Portable in that $200 buy as well. Um, I, I do need a charger um, to test that one, but I think if I can find a way to pop that open, how do I pop the pit? There we go. There's a game in there. Uh, we have Star Wars Battlefront number two. So I could sell him off as an individual game as well. I uh, can't remember how they go in. I'll do that later. Um, there's a game adapter here, an original game adapter. So I'll have to go in and see how much that's worth. Um, we've got some and uh, Nintendo 64 games here as well. This FX Zero goes for about $60, and this Wave Racer, I think it goes for about $30 to $40. Um, so arguably $100 worth of Nintendo 64 games right there. And uh, then we've got also Simpsons Hit and Run on the PC. Uh, that one goes for about $40 as well. It is an American copy there with Teen um, that tells you that it's American. Um, so we'll see how we go with that. That should do fairly well, I, I dare say. Um, this one here was an interesting one, the Alesis. Uh, this is the Q49. Um, so it's just a keyboard. He said that you just need a power cable to get this thing up and running. 
um, it is in complete working order otherwise. Um, so yeah, I grabbed that. It was only $10, very, very cheap purchase price for what is some pretty good comps. Um, but this right here, this is the best buy of the day. It is an RC300 loop station. So it's got a big pedal here, a uh, bunch of different buttons that I have no idea how to use. He said it was in working order. He had a $50 price tag on it and I was able to go ahead and buy it for, I think ultimately about $50 in the end, but it does have its manual, which is awesome. That's always a good sign when it's got its manual. And there are comps on eBay selling of four to six to 700. I think there was even a comp going for $1,000 for this device. So an unbelievable grab for $50, definitely the best grab of this entire garage sale haul that you can see here. $300 is what I paid for everything. I'm gonna try and get my money back on this device only, uh, which means there's all of this money in pure profit waiting to come in. And then as for the PlayStation 2 sign, well, I decided after much deliberation to go ahead and put it up for auction. Uh, I had about three or four different offers at around the five to $600 price point via Instagram after last week's video. And I declined all of them because there were comments in that video that said it could sell for upwards of $1,000. So I thought to myself, look, this is a pretty unique item. You can't really find too much info on it. Um, it was super unique that I thought I'd do an auction and see if I could get a few people biting to really increase the value of what we could go on to sell it for. So I went with a small three-day auction because I just wanted to get the sale done and I heavily promoted it through my Instagram to get as many eyes on it as possible. We had 132 watches over three days and we had over a thousand views on the listing. Uh, but after three days of the auction, it didn't sell, which I was very surprised by considering there was so much attention and so much interest via offers on Instagram the minute that I bought it. Um, so I instantly relisted it for $750, buy it now. I just thought if you couldn't get 800 on bids after three days of hanging around, may as well go a little less and aim for a $750 return. And that is when I instantly got a message. I got a message from a person that was originally watching the auction and she said that she was happy to pay $500 for it. I said, look, I've had some offers that have been better than that. The best price that I would do is $650. And she said that she needed to speak to her partner before going ahead and confirming the purchase, which she did for 650 bucks. So tomorrow, I'm gonna to put this into a box with a ton of bubble wrap, and I'm gonna ship it off to New South Wales for $650, which as you saw at the start of the video, was just a $20 garage sale purchase. Um, if you guys missed that first garage sale where I found this, this wasn't the only find. There were so many other items that I was able to pick up. I spent another $300 in that garage sale too, and I broke everything down in this video right here. So go and check it out. I'm sure you'll enjoy it. Thanks for being here for this one. We'll see you soon.